Uh, greetings, Dennis Daniels here. <clears throat> I wanted to show you, uh, let's see, that's OGV, those are ISOs, and this is my new OGV file. And what you'll see is that I've got an OGV, and this is an OGV FLV. And how did I do that? Well, YouTube uh, does not support OGV files yet. They did, and then they stopped. So now I want to show you how you can um, get it working. I installed a script. And the script is called OGV to FLVV Converter, version 1.2. You can find it on the GNOME Oh, somewhere gnome. I don't remember where now. Um, actually, I might be able to tell. No, there's no help screen, so there's no telling me where, where I got it from. But uh, I always use my custom settings because uh, I get better results that way. And I ramp up the audio and the video bitrate as high as I can. And then in a second, it'll convert to the temporary AVI. I wish it would save that AVI file for me because then. Um, I would be able to uh, have an option, I guess. Options are always good, and we can check the top on this to see how much it's chewing up the CPU. Pretty high, 75%. Uh, Zenity, I think, is the, uh, well, that would be the main application. Mencoder and Zenity are working hard. We've got a dual core here. And let's see, clear. Um, let's see what D message has to say, if anything, while it's doing this. Not much. Uh, so let's go back to top and see how hard the CPU is working. So Zenity and mem Memcoder, Mencoder are working, converting it to temporary AVI. And of course, while I'm recording this, it makes it more difficult. I'll pause and I'll be right back. Okay, so what you've seen earlier was uh, converting to AVI, now it's converting to FLV. We'll take a look at this desktop. There's the AVI, and in a moment the OGV FLV will be completed, and this will be automatically deleted courtesy of the script. Pause. We can also take a look at it in terms of what it's doing as it grows. Oh, you can't see. Let's see if I can. There we go. Um, you can watch the video size grow. <clears throat> the AVI was 97.9, and the uh, original OGV was. Let's see if, which one's the OGV. Yeah. Um, the big OGV that we're targeting is this one here. So when these two get, when this file gets to be about 20, 22 meg, um, it will delete the AVI. And actually, we can maybe even get lucky enough to watch it. Not very interesting, maybe, but um, just so you understand the process. There's the FLV, there's the AVI, and there's the original. Yep, and there it goes. You just saw it. The AVI is deleted, and now it is complete, so we can play it. I open with uh, VLC, and there it is. So, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, if you're running Linux, make some videos. Train the world. We need more training in Linux. Thanks.